Did you know that you could speak your life into existence? What's up everybody, Rudy with the Vantage Mindset. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the power of the spoken word. Yes, that's right. You can learn about the spoken word and use it to transform your entire life. Think about it, God speaks about the spoken word in the beginning of the Bible. He created us with the word, with his words. You know, he made us in his image, this, that, and the fourth. The ancients used to teach that emotions are first derived from the power of the words that we speak out. That's why back in the Bible, God tells Moses, he wants to be known as I am. Because any word that you say after I am, you are speaking it to be on yourself. So if you say, I am sick, I'm mad, I'm angry, you know, whatever it may be, you are speaking that state into your existence and that's who you are claiming to be. Yeah, so with that being said, we must understand that our words can influence our emotions, our actions, and ultimately control our destiny. By speaking positive words, you can attract positive experiences into your life. For example, one thing that I did when it came to women, you know, I'd speak things that I wanted about women, you know, and there were certain things that I like. And at different periods of time, it was all for different reasons. That doesn't really make sense nowadays, but I was a young man. But the way that I attracted my dream wife, the one, the wife of my dreams that I have now, I'm grateful and lucky enough to say that I have my dream wife on my side. But the way that I did it is, first I, I had to think about what it is that I wanted from a woman, what it is that she focused on, what her, her morals and her values, and does she have integrity? Does she have a relationship with God? How does she speak about herself? And how does she speak about others? That was one of the most important things to me is like how she spoke. To me, when someone has a positive mindset and they just speak positivity onto others, it's one of the most attractive things because we all know it's contagious. You know, you it's hard to be around somebody that's in such a good mood and so, mood and so positive and speaking good things on you all the time. It's hard for you to be in a negative mindset when you're just flooded and you're around so much positive words. Think about on, on the other end, if you're in a good mood, but you're around people that are just pissed off and bitching and complaining about a lot of different things, you're like, Dude, why are you focused on negative things? Like, look at all, look at around. There's so many things to be grateful for and happy about. Like, it's frustrating, you know, right? You really have to try hard to not let their energy overtake you and consume you. So now you're spending extra energy fighting off their energy just to stay in a good mood. But why I'm bringing this up is because if we notice and we pay attention to people, like when you get really good at reading people, they're gonna speak more with their body than they are with their words. And although this video is about the spoken word, the body language is just as important. It is still a type of translation or a type of speaking, but we're gonna stay focused on the spoken word on this video. Okay, so now I wanna give you guys a real life situation. It's about somebody I know in my life and his name is Rob. And Rob has so much potential. I mean, this dude literally could do anything that he decided to. But the problem with Rob is he was so negative with his words. For whatever reason, he held himself to too high of a standard that it worked against him. As a bystander looking out, you know, Rob, like I said, he's a hard worker. I mean, he, he loves, he goes above and beyond to give to everybody else. But when it comes to himself, he can't love himself. And it all starts from his thinking. One thing that me and him worked on as I was coaching him through this journey was you need to start speaking things into existence. We wanted to focus on his biggest problem. And at the time it was his work, the workplace. Everybody around him was negative, always just cussing, talking about shit that was, you know, like politics and just things that caused arguments, caused friction and caused people to be in negative states. And it just became too much for him to where it was affecting him at his home life. And this is what I'm saying. Like we must make sure that we're putting ourselves in the best environments always or around people who speak great to others and about themselves because it all has to do like we don't know the subconscious mind is not picking up on this. But this is the things that we must be conscious of. This is how we evolve. We have to be paying attention to this stuff. You can't just think that one day you learn about this and that the switch of a button or snap of a finger that it's all just going to work. It's, it doesn't work like that. So I want to talk about a little bit of tools that actually help me get to this spot a little bit faster. First thing I want you to do is create a list of five to 10 positive affirmations. And out of those, I want you to pick your favorite three. And I want you to say those three in the morning, in the middle of the day, and in the evening before bed. I want you to say it 
But when you say it, say it three times, and I want you to feel it as it's true. It has to be three times. You have to feel it deep down in your heart and in your gut that what it is you are speaking on yourself is actually true. Next, you have to make this a daily habit. Studies show, and this goes back to all the ancient studies, sorry, it takes 21 days to break a habit, but more so it takes 28 days to form a new habit. So with your speaking, we gotta go 21 days of saying positive affirmations and you have to cut out some verbiage that you have to commit to not using anymore. And for 21 days, commit to it. And I promise you the way that you start speaking after 28 days, you'll see a transition in your life. You'll see people respond to you differently, talk to you differently, come to you for advice. And you will see that you start to position yourself as that authority figure. Visual aids are also good. You know, put something on your lock screen on your phone, put something on as a reminder on your car, you know, your window, whatever it is to get this stuff in front of you. Because like I said, we need to train the subconscious mind. The more we put stuff on our conscious mind, the more it's gonna sink deep in into the subconscious. So if you guys are liking this video, please hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and you guys are gonna get so much game and so many plays that I've had accumulated over the last 10 years. That took me from a broke nobody with a broken mindset to somebody who's confident and could never go back to a lifestyle where I wasn't enjoying myself and doing what I love. Now I wanna teach you guys how to do the same. So please hit the button and subscribe. But yeah, back to the video. I just wanna go over a quick recap of what it is that I have written down here in my notes for you guys about how to be more mindful with your language. And so the first one, we're just doing a quick recap is awareness. Start by paying attention to your words. Notice the language that you use when you're speaking, not just out loud, but inside your head. Second thing is practice gratitude, like the ability to move your hand. It could be as little as just, God, I'm so thankful that I could move this finger here. Like it doesn't matter. Pick three things every day and just really spend the time to just be super thankful and grateful. Third thing that we talked about is surround yourself with positivity, whether that be a show, listen to an audio book, reading a book, being around positive people, jumping on a live Zoom call, jumping on a free 60 session call with yours truly. doesn't matter. Surround yourself with positive people. And lastly, reflect and adjust because that's what we're always here to do test and measure the new system that we're implementing into our life to see if is it working for us or not. We're always figuring out. We're always weeding out the bad and keeping the good so we can continue to grow. Thank you guys for watching. Till then, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.